despair. By Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Read for LibriVox.org. By Kane Perlick. Kane Perlick at gmail.com. O'er the midnight moorlands crying, through the cypress forest sighing, in the night wind madly flying, hellish forms with streaming hair, in the barren branches creaking, by the stagnant swamp pools speaking, past the shore cliffs, ever shrieking, damned demons of despair. Once I think I half remembered, ere the gray skies of November quenched my youth's aspiring ember, lived there such a thing as bliss. Skies that now are dark were beaming, bold and azure, splendid seeming, till I learned it all was dreaming, deadly drowsiness of dis. But the stream of time, swift flowing, brings the torment of half-knowing, dimly rushing, blindly going, past the never-trodden lee. And the voyager, repining, sees the wicked death-fires shining, hears the wicked petrels whining, as he helpless drifts to sea, Evil wings and ether beating, Vultures at the spirit eating, Things unseen forever fleeting, Black against the leering sky. Ghastly shades of bygone gladness, Clawing fiends of future sadness, Mingle in a cloud of madness, Ever on the soul to lie. Thus the living, lone and sobbing, in the throes of anguish throbbing, With the loathsome furies robbing, Night and noon of peace and rest. But beyond the groans and grating Of abhorrent life is waiting, Sweet oblivion, culminating All the years of fruitless quest. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.